Is the sequel to his 2000s Marshmallows LP. Uh, production of the album took place in 2012 2013 with Hannah Emily, and the producers Brooke Rubin, Lucas Emily Haney, and Alex the Kid. The album features guest appearance from Sarah Scott Gray, Rihanna, and Fun from Nate Bruce. The only rap appearing on the album being Eminem's Aftermath is Lil Lake Kendrick Lamar. A true story behind this album. I remember the day this album was released in album stores and I went to Walmart in town here. And I looked at the, on the shelf for all the, for all the new releases and there was only like one copy. One copy of this album was was on the shelf, and I was like, man. So I good thing I uh, bought it because if I didn't, I would have been out of luck. And but you know, ever since this album was released, some of the hit singles were Berserk, Survival, Rapka, The Monster. And uh, headlights with uh, Nate Roos of uh, Fun. I think if you look at the album, a little story behind this album. Very true story. Huh? And I bet Anthony Fantino and Neo Drop got some dead in hip hop. You see the house on the album? That exact same house on um, Marshmallow's LP2, True Story, that is the house that Eminem, I mean Marshmallow's, grew up living in for the rest of his life. And the uh, True Story that uh, reports certainly that same house that you guys see was uh, burnt to your ground according to the story of RollingStone.com. If you look at the album itself, I will have to say after when I first bought it and started listening, it is definitely a more different Eminem album, uh, according to uh, Michael Wood of Los Angeles Times. He says in that quote, Eminem sounds more a lot angrier. Yet yeah, full present than he has in years. And when Burns or Perverse on Marshmallow's LP, if you don't like what well, he still has to say, there's a chance he doesn't. He doesn't either. And in Gunderson, the USA Today says, and when it recaptures the original rich, rich releases, wild, clever, rules of brilliance, a very caustic browsing odds, rapid fire rhymes, and aggressive beats, surround the, of the boss will get it out. A positive album to say if anything the sequels more intense than the original as her explodes like an Emmy and moral wins to be here. Evan doubles down on his Mac flow, bursting out with apologies, jokes, and illusions. This in speed and skill. But this album is much more different. And we didn't know that he had ever done because this is why he really just goes off the cuff, off the cuff on this uh, album. Uh, the song, uh, 
uh, Berserk. He has that uh, homage to the Beastie Boys. The monster. I would say it's much more darker Eminem track that he has ever done. Cause they kind of, after watching the music, it kind of shows Eminem's three different ways of how he was brought up in the whole nine yards. Uh, Headlights. Love the track so much. It's much more, it's not aggressive Eminem that he has done. But it's kind of like his apology to his mother. But uh, this for any fan of I mean, like this, if you can, is a is a must-have.